Hello dear students. Today I am sharing with you my lecture of professional English subject module 5 that is presentation strategies and oral communication. In this video I am going to share the first part that will cover the following topics. Defining purpose of presentation, audience and locale, modulating style and content, preparing outline, body language or kinesics. Before discussing the syllabus, we should understand what is a presentation. Presentation is something set forth for an, to an audience for the attention of the mind. It can be anything. It can be a joke, a song or any other performance or a technical presentation. And effective. The presentation should be effective. Effective means producing a desired result. For example, if we are cracking a joke, then it should produce a humorous effect on the audience. Then only it is said to be effective. Effective presentation is an integral part of modern communication. Through effective presentation, the sender would be able to convince the receiver and achieve desired result. At each and every stage of the life, Effective presentation enhances good result because if we are presenting in an effective manner then the audience will be convinced whatever we are telling them and then it gives us good results. This makes us curious to know the strategies of effective presentation and you will be very glad to know that great speakers aren't born, they are trained. So presenting is a skill, it can be developed through experience and training. So we'll consider, we have to consider the following points while preparing for a professional presentation. Planning, outline and structure, body language and paralinguistic. So the paralinguistic part I will cover in my next lecture, next video. And here I will be talking about planning, outline and body language. So first is planning. The content and delivery of our speech is based on five important factors. Occasion, audience, purpose, thesis and material. We will discuss them one by one. Occasion means the locale, the setting in which we are going to present our presentation. So before presenting, we need to analyze the locale, that is the physical setting. So you have to know the physical setting, whether you will be having a podium or a table for presentation or you will be having a public address system and so on. And you also need to pay attention on the physical conditions confronting your audience, such as the seating and the room temperature and lighting. Because if they will not be comfortable, they will not be able to focus on your presentation. So the lighting should be very accurate, proper, so that they can be able to pay attention on the presentation. Next, we'll analyze the audience, analyzing the audience. So analyzing audience means you should understand who are your audience. What are their interests, likes and dislikes? Are they familiar with the topic? Is their attitude hostile or friendly? What is the size of the group? Age range, gender distribution, because it helps you to take proper examples and make the presentation more interesting as per the need of the audience. Next comes the purpose of the presentation. So there can be three purpose, any purpose of the presentation. It can be to inform, it can be to persuade, that is to convince the audience for a particular course of action. For example, if you are giving a presentation uh, in your job for a particular product or com uh, commodity, in an, uh, uh, an MBA person or a salesperson. So he or she is trying to convince the audience or just to entertain. Next comes the thesis statement. Thesis statement is the central idea of a presentation. For, uh, like topic sentence in a paragraph, similarly. It spells out the subject and establishes its impact among the audience. 
so how to arrive at the thesis statement first we should know the topic then we should understand the topic area then what is the general purpose of the topic what is the specific purpose and then we'll come to understand our thesis statement next come the part of material how to collect data for our presentation so that there are many sources nowadays to collect the material we can collect from books that is from the library from the internet it is a source very powerful source for data collection we can consult magazines journals newspapers we can also consider our organizational records statistics questionnaires interviews etc so there are for data collection there are many sources available next is how to organize our presentation we have to organize our presentation into three major parts as i've already discussed with you in my classes that we need to any technical piece of writing has to be divided into three parts introduction main body and conclusion so introduction means we have to tell about what we are going to explain main body is the main points the discussion the details and the conclusion that is the closing so main body has to be organized in different manners can be organized like chronological if we are talking about with respect to time or categorical cause and effect or problem solution depending upon the topic we can choose any of the orders next we have to prepare the outline whenever we are preparing a piece of technical writing or presentation we need to create an outline because outline is a mechanical framework in which are fitted the bits and pieces of your presentation material it serves as a guide to show you the right path for your presentation so when you spend time in developing an outline it never goes waste what outline covers is introduction the various parts and aspects of the topic the function the facilities and the conclusion it helps you to eliminate the unnecessary details next is the essentials of presentation presentations con contains three important parts verbal content voice inflection modulation and articulation and the body language so the verbal content is 7% voice inflection modulation articulation that is the paralinguistic parts is 38% and the most important is the body language because when we talk about presentation it is a face to face thing so your body language plays a very important part it is also known as kinesics that is the study of body's physical movement kinesics is the name given to the study of the body's physical movements as as the name suggests body language in other words it is the way the body communicates without the use of words that is through various movements of its parts for example nodding your head blinking your eye waving the hands etc in regular day to day lives we use a lot of uh, these things body language to communicate with our friends with our family members so in presentation in a technical presentation also it works a lot in the class also when you are listening attentively so you do nod your head blink your eye and give a pleasant smile kinesics includes the various aspects like personal appearance personal appearance means your dressing your uh, grooming your hairstyle etc it has to be very proper it has to be professional when you are going for a technical presentation you should wear formal suit formal dress it includes posture posture means the way you stand or you sit the way the body is maintained in a particular position so posture when you are standing you should stand straight you uh, should not slouch and when you are sitting you should not lean in the chair so posture has to be maintained accurately because it also helps you to have a proper voice then kinesics also includes gesture gesture means the hand and body movements so the correct gesture gives the audience a proper impression so 
there are common gestures like the V sign, the victory sign, the thumbs up gesture, etc. So that are very much uh, known to every one of us. Kinesics also includes the facial expressions. Correct facial expressions maintains the interest of the audience. So when you have proper expressions, it complements your presentation and it helps the audience to have interest in your presentation. So there are certain expressions which are very common and which are very much understandable by every one of us. Kinesics also includes eye contact. So whenever we are giving a lecture or a presentation, we should try to maintain a eye contact with every one of the audience. Three to five seconds are sufficient for an eye contact with each and every one. More than that will seem like a stare. And we should not give the audience the impression that we are staring at any of them. So eye contact gives you confidence and audience also feels that the presenter is paying attention on each and every one of them. So these are the certain parts, aspects of the body language. So kinesics means that the person should be well groomed, well dressed, with a friendly smile and a confident posture. And this gives you confidence and creates a very good impression on your audience. So this was all about in this lecture of presentation strategies. We'll again meet in our second lecture. Thank you. If you have any comments, you can post in the comment section and you can ask your questions also. So I will try to answer them.